Good morning, friends. I can imagine the words from the gospel reading yesterday from Luke chapter 6 being very, um, being one of the, the teachings of Jesus that caused people to say, these are hard words, um, and caused people to turn back. Because this scripture says, um, love thine enemies. And if somebody steals from you, uh, basically don't get your property back or don't try to get your property back. And if somebody hits you, turn to, turn to them the other cheek um, so that they can essentially... Uh, well, hit you again, I guess. Um, and these are just such challenging things to uh, try to wrestle with in this modern context. Um, but I think what what Jesus is saying here um, is what was said by my friend. Ryan uh, Wager in his sermon yesterday at Oaklawn UMC in Dallas. Um, it is easy to love those who are easy to love. We are called to love those who are hard to love and those who um, don't come to us with a sense of reciprocity and maybe are so wounded that they need our love more than uh, those who we would even consider our friends. But I think what is key in this passage, at least for me, is that it's not advocating for abuse. It's not advocating for a blind, like, love where you surrender everything, including yourself. What makes this scripture work is that you do those things and you love in this way in full knowledge of who you are in God and who you are as a human being. You don't turn the other cheek asking for abuse. And if somebody abuses you or is abusing you, let me say, that's not what God wants but you turn the other cheek as if to say, I see what you're doing. I am aware of what you're doing and I choose to love you in despite of what you're doing. And because I see the value in you that God sees in you. So this scripture is not advocating for abuse. And let me say again, if you are in an abusive situation, uh, I believe Christ would do everything in Christ's power to pull you out. So find help, find the help you need. But what this scripture I think is advocating for is as long as we know who we are and we know who we are in God, we are called to love the people around us, those we don't like, and those who would even hate us with the same type of love that God loves us with, which is not a willful ignoring of abuse or surrendering our own identity. It is stepping into the fullness of who we are in God and living with an open hand towards those towards everyone, but most especially those who would despise us and not return that love in that way. Complex thoughts, difficult thoughts, but something to reflect on as you go about your week. Thank you, friends. Blessings. Bye-bye.